Hello. There's a lot of dry, settled weather in the forecast across Europe for the coming few days, and heat is also going to be a real story. The heat has already been building across parts of Spain and France that we're pushing in towards the UK as well and heading its way gradually further eastward. So high pressure keeping things warm and dry through many central parts of Europe. Either side of that we have got some showers around in the southern Mediterranean and also low pressure moving to the north of Europe at the moment too. But Tuesday's weather hot, uh, dry and sunny across Cyprus, Turkey, Crete, into mainland Greece as well, lots of sunshine here, settled and dry across the Balkans in towards central parts of Europe. Temperatures well above average, about 10 Celsius above average, in fact, for some places towards Germany, the low countries into France, and that heat pushing into southern parts of the UK. Still some rain in the northwest of the UK, and that's gonna be heading its way into Scandinavia too. This developing low pressure here will bring some really windy conditions around the Baltic Sea into the middle part of the week, but it's another warm, dry day on Wednesday for many central areas that heat gradually easing as we look towards the end of the week so the outlook for both London and Paris after that heat is for things to turn gradually a bit cooler later on in the week towards the weekend still largely dry heavy showers and thunderstorms at times though for Madrid Berlin will also see things turning a little bit cooler with some thunderstorms in Athens by the end of the week bye bye hello Hurricane Paulette is moving across Bermuda, bringing very large waves, heavy rainfall and damaging winds. Here is Hurricane Paulette out in the Atlantic, and this system here is Hurricane Sally, which is slow moving in the Gulf of Mexico. It's set to make landfall across eastern Louisiana and then western portions of Mississippi. It's going to be bringing some very heavy rainfall, up to about 24 inches of rainfall for one or two spots, as well as a significant storm surge of around 7 to 11 feet and winds of 90 miles per hour or more. Meanwhile, across Alaska and British Columbia, largely dry settled conditions here. It's still hot across the Pacific Northwest, but not quite as hot as it has been. And we have got humidity on the rise here, but still elevated fire conditions for the likes of Northern California, Nevada and Idaho as well. Here's the outlook for the next couple of days. Things are looking largely dry in the west, still quite hot, particularly across parts of California where those fires are ongoing. Meanwhile, across the northeast, it's a cooler, fresher day to come for Montreal and for New York with the winds coming in from the northwest. A few showers across the Carolinas, but then we're back into the effects of Hurricane Sally across Florida, Georgia, all the way towards Louisiana. That will move into the likes of Alabama and Tennessee over the next few days, bringing that risk of flooding. Things are turning hotter in both Montreal and New York for the middle of the week. Bye bye. Hello. There are currently several hurricanes and tropical depressions in the Atlantic, a very active phase in the hurricane season at the moment. Some of those are going to be affecting portions of Central America, some large waves around in particular. Meanwhile, for South America, it's been very hot across southern Brazil and Paraguay, but we have got this frontal system on Monday that's pushing across Paraguay, so that will introduce some showers at some much cooler conditions than we've seen recently. Further north across the continent, scattered showers and thunderstorms across Colombia, Venezuela, some of them stretching towards Suriname as well but generally drier as we make our way across central and eastern parts of Brazil. Those temperatures for parts of southern Brazil still about five degrees above the September average. But to the south of that weather front, much cooler, fresher conditions for Uruguay into central Argentina. Unsettled weather with further wet and windy conditions across the south of Chile. There'll be some rain arriving in Rio de Janeiro on Tuesday, but then things will warm up again later in the week. Buenos Aires will also see those temperatures on the rise. Very heavy rain around eastern portions of Mexico for the next couple of days. And we've also got Hurricane Sally slow moving in the Gulf of Mexico too. Heavy showers also for Guatemala and Honduras and across the Caribbean. Sunshine and scattered showers, but there could be some large waves, especially down towards the Leeward Islands. Havana seeing plenty of showers over the next five days. Fewer showers, some dry weather on the cards for Kingston. Bye-bye. Hello. The recent heavy rains and flooding we've seen across central and western parts of Africa will continue over the next few days. The area is likely to see the most intense downpours. You can see on the satellite image that shower cloud that we've already had are particularly across parts of Nigeria, stretching gradually westwards towards Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone. So more heavy rain around here. There's also low pressure across North Africa, bringing some heavy showers and squally winds to coastal parts of Tunisia, Northern Algeria as well. Meanwhile, further south across Africa and temperatures above average for parts of Zimbabwe, Zambia and Mozambique as well.
In Cape Town, we're expecting a cooler day on Wednesday with the arrival of some rain, but then it turns warmer and drier later on in the week. Dakar could see some thunderstorms towards the weekend, but it's still remaining hot and dry in Khartoum with some sunny spells for Casablanca, Kinshasa and for Lusaka as well. Now onto the weather across the Middle East, and it's not quite as hot as it has been across the Levant, but still warm for the likes of Jordan and Syria. Temperatures a little below average for central parts of Iran over the next couple of days, but not too much happening in terms of the weather as we head across the Gulf and towards the south. We'd just like to see perhaps one or two showers cropping up across southern parts of the Red Sea around the Sarawat Mountains as well, but fairly light winds, lots of sunshine. It is a hot, dry, sunny outlook in Muscat, Dubai, Riyadh and Kuwait. Bye for now. Hello. The monsoon rains across India have been particularly heavy over recent days across central and southern parts of the country. You can see on the satellite image the area of cloud here producing some torrential monsoon downpours. We've also got another area of cloud to the northeast of India affecting Bangladesh, northern Myanmar, to where, towards eastern Nepal as well. So heavy showers to come here. And we've got this area of rain which is pushing out of Andhra Pradesh through Maharashtra and eventually up towards Gujarat as well. So there could be some flooding impacts with all that heavy rain around. Heading towards the northwest into central parts of Asia and there will be some heavy showers developing across the north of Kazakhstan, drier further south, lots of warm sunshine for Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan as well. We have got one or two showers around the mountains of Pakistan and for the Karachi area as well. But for Mumbai and down the west coast, the showers will be quite heavy at times. There'll be some sunnier spells, particularly towards the east across parts of Tamil Nadu, for instance. For Sri Lanka, sunny spells, scattered showers and the odd rumble of thunder around. But we're back into those heavy downpours across central parts of India and towards the northeast for Bangladesh up towards Assam as well. Showers and thunderstorms set to continue in Mumbai, but in Dakar they should clear away to leave drier weather towards the end of the week. Lots of sunshine in store for Islamabad. Tashkent seeing a real dip in temperatures by Thursday. Temperatures around 23, just 19 for Friday. Bye-bye. Hello there. Some high temperatures in the forecast across northern and western parts of Australia in the coming few days. We'll look at that in just a few moments. Meanwhile, further north, the satellite image shows an area of cloud close to the Philippines that's been building. And we are expecting some fairly intense showers and thunderstorms likely here. Could be some localised flooding into the middle part of the week. Further north, low pressure in the Sea of Japan, bringing some showers to northern Honshu on Tuesday, some gusty winds as well for Hokkaido. Largely dry for the Korean Peninsula, but some heavy downpours in both Beijing and in Shanghai on Tuesday, with this front stretching back into central China. Heavy showers too across Myanmar, Thailand, Vietnam and Laos, and the heaviest downpours for Indonesia will be across northern parts of Borneo. In Osaka, we're expecting showers and thunderstorms from Thursday onwards, but the showers should clear away to leave drier, warmer weather in store for Beijing later in the week. Across Australia, then, temperatures are pretty hot, especially for northern parts of Western Australia and the Northern Territory, combined with quite a strong, gusty northeasterly wind. So that is bringing that severe fire danger at times. Cooler towards the southeast on Tuesday and across New Zealand, things are staying unsettled with a series of weather fronts pushing across both islands, bringing some showers to the South Island on Tuesday. It could be wintry over the higher ground. Sydney likely to see a pretty warm day to come on Thursday. Showers in Perth for the weekend.